Hey there, welcome to Charger Games. My name is Raja and welcome to the very first episode of creating 2D game arts using Inkscape. So in this series of videos we'll create some cool game arts by using free tool called Inkscape. So let's get started. So I'm gonna use Inkscape and you can download it from the link given in the description below. So first of all open up Inkscape. Uh, it takes some time so maximize it now some of you guys know that I have already created a game I have created a game named uh, flappy red ball you guys can download it from the description below so in this game I have created the arts myself so I wanna uh, teach you guys how to actually build those things. As an example, I have created this is the game I have created, Flappy Red Ball, and these are the icons and things that I have created. So I will teach you in this series of tutorials how to actually create those things. First of all, I will uh, show you how to create this awesome red ball, and then I will show you probably how to create uh, this kind of awesome eyes, and then in later tutorials, I will also teach you how to build characters game characters like boys as an example I built this character a few days ago I'll teach you how to create a character like this or maybe a super cool character like this okay so in this first video I'm gonna keep things very very simple and we're gonna create a simple 3d looking ball so let's get started so first of all I'm gonna select this circle tool and create a circle here okay now when the circle is created from the down below color pan you can select any color and this circle will become the color of it so I'm gonna select the red color okay so this is the red color so now what I'm gonna do is in order to give it a 3d effect we have to create a gradient here so I'm gonna select this little tool called gradient tool and I'm gonna click at the center and I'm gonna drag it oops uh, let's press ctrl Z because I've done an error so make sure whenever you select the gradient tool it, it by default it is selected as a linear gradient but we want the radial gradient so select the radial gradient so now click on the center and drag it uh, to the edge so what happened here is at the center we have red and at the edge we have transparent color so it is becoming from red to transparent but if we want to actually change this what you can do is we can select this node by clicking this so as you can see it is it has become blue that means it is selected now if I select the black color as you can see that now the color is changing from red to black at the edge the red at the center to black at the edge by this using gradients we can create awesome effects now you can uh, shorten or long in this uh, make this uh, line short along in order to get various effects I'm gonna keep it like this and you can also uh, make this short along to get different effects so now another good thing is that if you select this and if you move this as you can see you can actually move the red color from the center to other places I think I'm gonna move it here so that we get a good 3d effect okay so now the next thing we're gonna do is we can create uh, more new nodes inside this so in order to create another new node I'm gonna double click over this line so if I double click it as you can see a new node has been created so using this I can edit this node so now what I'm gonna do is at the center I'm gonna give a different color like orange or yellow or something so that it becomes more realistic so I'm gonna select it in the center and I'm gonna select the orange color from here so as you can see it has become an or it has got an orange feel now if I expand this as you can see if I expand this this will be spread like this and if I expand it it will spread the black color so this is how we create some awesome looking uh, 3d effect in balls let's try another one let's try it with the blue color so I'm gonna select the circle tool again I'm gonna make it a circle this time I'm gonna select blue okay so again I'm gonna select the gradient tool 
make sure the radial is selected and I'm gonna drag it uh, outside now again up by selecting this I'm gonna select the black color and I'm gonna move the blue at the edge left edge I'm gonna make it a bit short so that the black covers a little bit now again I'm gonna create another node here by double clicking on the line and I'm can I can use this to edit this now I click on the center and I'm gonna select the white color so this will give us a shiny ball effect so if I go and spread it out a bit as you can see that this is giving us a nice shiny effect okay so this is it for this tutorial as you guys can see that we have created and some awesome looking balls so in the next video we'll create more awesome things so thank you very very much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to subscribe like and let's move on to the next video thank you very much have a great day